This week I am redoing my entire living room and that green wall right there is gonna go. Okay, so I secretly already got started. <laughs> I had to see if the whole thing that I wanted with the black trim and the wall color would work before I did everything else. And it looks beautiful, you guys, it looks beautiful. For the first time in ages, I am actually happy with the color that I chose. So I am very, very pleased with myself. <laughs> I'm going to continue doing this wall. I am also going to prep the other windows because I'm not only painting the wall, I'm also painting the insides of these boxed windows, this area right here. So I need to sand all of that <sighs> very much. There's a lot of sanding that needs to be done. And then I can move on to fun things. It is looking really good. I'm very happy. So while I'm working on this wall and doing some preparations, I thought I would show you some of the inspiration pictures that I used. I looked for rooms that were bright and airy, but still very warm and cozy. So I'll be working with soft, calming colors. I also really love that black window trim trend that you see everywhere. So I'm definitely painting my window trims black. Additionally, I really like adding some antique details like old picture frames and trinkets here and there. And then I'll be adding some natural and organic textures and we'll play with some fabrics like blankets and pillows as well to give it that cozy vibe. Thought you'd be the one for me Won't you tell me how you feel I shared my dream with you until the morning Everybody else have done it right So I opened this window because I have to sand it. That is what is in there. That's a spider. I don't like spiders and I have to sand there so it has to go. Okay, so it's the next day. The walls and the window frames have turned out absolutely beautiful. They're just, oh, I love it. I've actually already put everything back in place because we had visitors come over and it was an absolute disaster in our living room. So that is all done. But now I have to move on to that famous green wall that we don't like. So I'm gonna prime it. I'm gonna paint it that beautiful wall color that, um, what was it called? Sober. It was called Sober. And then I'm gonna move on to that wall there. I'm gonna do all this off camera because it's getting a little boring. You've seen me paint half my living room. I think that's enough. And then I think I'm gonna move on to the mantle or the doors in the back. So let's get started because there's a lot to do. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time deciding what to do with the mantle. I actually got two testers from the hardware store in two different types of black and they mixed one of them wrong. So I only had one. <laughs> so what I did is I tested that one paint on the mantle as well as the color that we used on the windows. And I can't really make a decision not based on this small area. So what I've decided to do, as it's not really that big of an area anyway, I'm just going to paint the whole thing in the color that we used on the windows because I have plenty of that paint. And then we'll see if I really hate it or not. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now there's something in the air And a sparkly 
Remember a while ago we made these wooden panels and covered them with fabric and hung them on the wall? They didn't really fit the design I'm going for in my living room right now, so I took them apart and cut a piece of particle board to the same size as the frame, glued it on there, secured it with some screws, and then I covered the whole thing in plaster. Now there is no logic to this, I just randomly put plaster all over it. And then I took a paper towel and some paint in different shades of brown and gray and beige and simply dabbed it on there to create the illusion of stone. So as you may remember from the beginning of this video, there were two black curtains hanging in front of these doors. I went out and I got exactly the same fabric that I used on the other curtains in the living room and I'm just gonna make them exactly the same. I got the same curtain rods as well, I already put that up there. So all that I have to do now is making two simple squares out of the fabric as curtains and then I'm gonna hang them up using these IKEA rings that I really love to use because they are so easy and so pretty. So painfully quiet and slow I try my best to move If you follow McKenna at XO McKenna, this piece of art might actually look familiar to you. This was painted by her mother. I bought the print from her Etsy store, which is called While Olivia Sleeps. I will link it down in the description below. It is absolutely stunning. I love this piece of art. I really hope you enjoyed watching this makeover. Let me know in the comments what you think because I love hearing from you and I will see you next time.